good Wednesday morning. You can see the uh, futures are gapped up here after the uh, GDP number. Uh, GDP was up significantly. Uh, they're expecting a negative number, and it actually uh, traded up to uh, durable goods month over month 1.8 percent versus minus six, minus 0.6 percent. They were expecting. You got new home sales today at 10. You got crude at uh, 10:30, and you have the FOMC statement at 2:15. So we're going to go again into this slow mode uh, once this uh, initial open takes place until the uh, announcement, the FOMC. Uh, a lot of people talking about will they raise rates? Absolutely, they will not raise rates. Uh, they should have been raising rates again a long, long time ago. They're not going to do it now with the economy in the in the dumper. They should have done it back in uh, uh, back in the Greenspan era. They didn't uh, created another bubble, took them down. But uh, that's a story for a whole nother day. The uh, so again, overnight we were 889.50, uh, right around uh, the euro open there at 12:30, midnight Pacific. You can see here on the left side of the chart, we uh, then uh, were trading right around 894, which was our uh, spot that you know we'd actually uh, having some difficulty. And then once that uh, GDP number, excuse me, durable goods number came out, we uh, shot through and uh, pushed us right up to 900 even 900 so again to me 50% uh, retrace 885 to let's call it uh, 953 gets you uh, 68 points 34 points there gets you to about 919 920 and again probably at 618 line if we look on a, on a um, chart here let's just look at a five-day chart real quick because you'll see this pretty easily again you can see the 618 line from <coughs> yesterday's uh, high of uh, up here in 917 gets you to about this 903 area so that's the first level and then uh, again on the 10 day chart going back to the high you'll see um, actually we're going to have to go back 20 days now on a 20 day chart you're going to have to uh, go back to uh, the high here of 952.50 which gets you to uh, this area 927 so 918 is your 50 927 is your 618 that would be to me prime selling spots over the next few days if we could rally up to that area one more time I would uh, look at looking at the bigger picture of the chart I would look to, look to uh, get short there on the um, on the, on the 60-minute chart, the chart is clearly broken, and again, I'd probably start selling around that 915 area. There's a lot of resistance up in that level. Uh, if you draw a trend line, you know, from from here, you can see this very clearly that uh, there's a clear trend down now over the last uh, 10 days, 20 days, and uh, here's that line, and again, that starts uh, coming into play around 905. So anywhere up into this area, again, you know, if, if I were to draw an area that I'd be looking on a swing to uh, get short, it would probably um, be again in this area right in, whoops, let me try to pull this down, but anyways, 915 to 930, that would be a good uh, swing area to be uh, short. So that's it, oil is actually uh, down slightly 31 cents here this morning, we, again we have crude inventories as we do every um, Wednesday at 1030, we've got uh, volatility very low. I was talking to another trader last night at a baseball game with the kids, uh, minor league game, and uh, just it is an, another long-term 15, 20-year trader who just said he's never seen a market uh, this terrible from a trader's perspective. There's no flow. All your correlations you can throw out. It's a, it's clearly a bizarro market, and uh, you got to really trade it tight and small in here because it is a tough, tough market for traders. Uh, buy and holds not benefiting. Um, traders aren't benefiting. This is a, a, a clear bull market or bear market uh, activity right now, and he trades currencies exclusively and uh, manages money on that front. So I can tell you, it's uh, getting real tough out there. Gold is actually spiking up. I was looking at that this morning. Uh, the gold contract is. Let's just try to take a quick look here. Uh, we are trading the. Um, Try to bring up the front month, but gold is uh, shooting up pretty big here this morning after trading down to uh, it was down to um, 913 yesterday and has now spiked up to uh, nearly 940. So it is uh, gold is really peaking up here after uh, a big sell off uh, after it couldn't get up there with the reflation, the rest of the reflation trade, and it is starting to come off some. So we're going to be watching gold here uh, as see if the interest rates start peaking back up. Again, here's the uh, 
G contract on the or the end contract, which is in the July contract, but you can see the same thing here. It says in the front month, but 917 up to uh, hit 930 or so this morning. So this is really starting to peak up on uh, gold here, and uh, I'd be watching this going forward as uh, this could become uh, a bigger uh, issue as uh, the reflation trade maybe comes back on. Maybe it's over after that quick sell off 990 down to 910. So that's it. Have a great trading day, and we'll uh, see you back here tomorrow.